This sneaker store has scammed their audience, subscribers, and even employees out of around $100,000 total. I'm involved in it, and... Today's video, something surprising. What really looks bad for Hank is he was trying to sell his YouTube page. The channel has been sitting with no uploads for over a month. And over a month, there's a lot of people involved in this. There's a lot of money involved in this. I personally only lost a thousand. People have been out thousands of dollars and missing sneakers for months. Like no Dave received, and he lost the most money out of everybody in this whole situation. Where is Hank? We don't know. Where is he at? Where is Hank? Hank has essentially gone ghost and has led many people to speculate where is he and what happened to him. I originally wasn't going to react to this situation, but uh, legit, he, he, uh, he, he was the reason that I uh, decided to do this video. <clears throat> no, not, not really. But um, yeah. So where do I even start, man? This situation is just blown up over the last couple days and that's what really made me decide that i feel like i really need to voice my opinion in this because i really have a different side to this story that a lot of people don't know and also i feel like there's a lot of questions that i can answer and kind of fill in some of the blanks so i want to first start off by apologizing to everyone who's lost their money through this situation it's been terrible and unfortunately there's nothing i can do i just wish everyone the best and hope that there's some type of resolution but i want to start this video off by talking about how i met henry and how everything unfolded and how it got to this magnitude how's it going I'm pretty excited about your shop. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate it. Cool, yeah. Then you can check him out. Yeah. 20, 40, of course, 60, man. Mm -hmm. It's funny, he had messaged me and like, like half hour later, I saw your uh, story and I was like... Oh, like, really? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I love that pair. They're so nice. Dude, I kind of want... If you get 11, let me know. Okay, I yeah. Need, I, want, I want to walk for myself. Okay, cool. So, so like, when you open, are you going to be like all the time there there? I first met Henry at a sneaker deal when I was getting ready to open up my sneaker store in York, Pennsylvania. And quickly, once my store opened, he became a regular customer who would trade me shoes on a regular basis. He quickly gained notoriety and became a fan favorite. Later on, I ended up hiring him and he became my first ever employee. We're actually looking for another employee, so we were thinking about hiring you because you come in here all the time. They always say two Henrys are better than one, right? Eventually, the company expanded so quickly that he helped me take on new employees, but with that, he began to grow lazy, and the work environment became toxic. There was constant arguing. Uh, <laughs> cool. brand new shoes off the wall. He's, dude, that is not selling in store. And in Las Vegas, we had a pop-up shop, and this is where the first ever major issue arise. He choked out a previous employee, and I graciously covered it up after we got back and I fired him <laughs> by just saying that we had to go our separate ways. Unfortunately, this is going to be the last video that you guys see Henry, Hank the Tank in. He actually went his separate way. Um, things just weren't working out, so we had to go our own ways. He brought it out himself what actually happened, and surprisingly, there seemed to be little to no backlash on his end. I'm glad we were able to resolve our differences. I mean, I wouldn't have to re-choke you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> then I decided to do some digging. Now this next part is allegedly, but an anonymous source told me that Hank previously embezzled $100,000 from an old job. Now, this number might sound familiar. This sneaker store has scammed their audience, subscribers, and even employees out of around $100,000 total. Hmm, so that really got me thinking. So I did some more digging and I was able to locate his criminal record. Now he has multiple felonies. Here's one for a $500 plus theft. Now it doesn't go into specifics, unfortunately I wasn't able to uncover that much, but it was super encrypted and there's some stuff going on. He's on an FBI watch list. So let's go back to when my business started to collapse. I was getting ready to open a store in Texas and Ronnie and Henry were managing my York store. Now during this, Hank did something very sneaky and sly and took Henry out from under me. Now he did something that's happened to me many times. Why don't you come, come work for the company? 
come what? work for you. Come, let me, you let me buy your store. Let me get you out of Dallas and maybe I'll open you up to some big mega store. And I do feel bad for Henry. He overpromised him and underdelivered. Lies and I, I don't want to say I was manipulated, but now he offered him sixty thousand dollars a year, which is about five thousand dollars a month. Sixty k a year is five grand a month, and then when I started, uh, we can't really afford that right now. We're still growing a brand, so just you know, just take four grand, and you know, we got you. Henry even says in his video that I paid them extremely well. Can't pay as well. I like what I got paid, but when an opportunity presents itself to make more money, you got to ask yourself: Is the current place I'm working going to pay me the same? In a quick enough time or should I just you know leave and make more money and I definitely paid them very well some people think that I paid the minimum wage but unfortunately I way overpaid them and that was another reason that contributed towards the business collapsing ultimately because I just couldn't afford the payroll but I was paying him $900 a week that's $46,800 a year now keep in mind at the time the average household income in Pennsylvania was only $32,000. So why I was paying these guys this much, I have no idea. Maybe it saved me in the long run, but he only ended up working for Henry for an extra $100 a month. You know, just take four grand and you know, we got you. Now this situation has happened to me before and I'll have to tell you guys about it sometime, but something similar happened to me back in South Carolina before I even started my Cam's Kick store. I partnered with another store there and I don't wanna to go too much in depth with that, but basically I worked there at first and then got offered an opportunity to buy into the company. I ultimately lost $15,000 from that very early on in business. Now this is what I think happened to Henry. He got offered the option instead of getting paid to be a part owner of the company and invest $30,000. Okay, sure, you got lowballed. You, you weren't getting that 60,000 a year and you weren't getting paid as much as you were promised. But let me jump ahead in this video to where he says this. Like I invested 30 grand when I bought into the company. Obviously when companies flop, you don't really get your investment back. So not only did you lose your $30,000 investment, well, that's tough. But then you said you weren't getting paid salary or hourly. So what is it? So to clear that up, I know it was a little bit confusing kind of how he phrased it. So he started working there and then got offered the investment opportunity and invested his money. That's how he lost the money. Now in Henry's video, he says Dave lost the most money. Like no Dave or C Dave. And I'm gonna put this out there right now. Dave is 100% innocent and he lost the most money out of everybody in this whole situation. If Dave was a 40% owner, Henry was a 40% owner, and the other Henry was a 20% owner, mathematically speaking, that means if he owns double the amount of the company and Henry invested $30,000, that would mean that Dave invested $60,000. So that's almost $90,000 right there between the two of them. Never mind all the other people that have been scammed throughout the situation. So it's just mind boggling and crazy that this happened. But can I say that it really surprises me? Not really, because I could see Hank's true colors. And that's why ultimately he was no longer with me. In hindsight, putting the pieces together, it's pretty blatantly obvious. How does this dude go from driving a $4,000 car when he worked for me? Oh yeah, so we have to borrow Henry's car. Don't be throwing trash in my backseat. Um to buying a brand new Mercedes. Hank bought a brand new Mercedes and a new house roughly three months ago. It is very sad though, and that's why I first apologize to you guys in this video. And if you guys really think about it, Hank never would have had a platform or a store like that without me. He leveraged working with me to gain a social media presence and start his own store. He would have never had YouTube if he didn't know me. So what he did was he took my exact concept he took my employee out from under me and opened a sneaker store in the exact same city. Now the sad part and why I first apologize at the beginning of this video is if it wasn't for me, he would never even exist. Now, if you guys don't believe me, look at his titles, a day in the life of a sneaker store owner. Hmm, I wonder who came up with that concept. Well, that was literally in the title of most of my old videos. He took something that knew worked for me and made it work for him. And if you guys don't think I gave them my knowledge to start this, I'll let Henry literally say it for himself. And when I left Cam, I had enough knowledge and 
inventory and money to do my own thing. So if that's not enough evidence for you guys, I don't know what is, but I do really feel deeply sorry for all of you guys that were scammed by him. I never knew that it would arise to this magnitude and anything this crazy would come out of it. Did I think he was going to always do business the proper way? No, because I knew him and who he was and it just didn't seem like that would happen. In conclusion, it's funny to see when you're at your lowest, people that you brought up won't help you, but then when they're down, they expect something because Henry actually canceled the York pop-up that I was supposed to have with him because it wasn't convenient for him at the time. And now that all this is happening, I really hope Hank doesn't try to come crawling back to me, but the situation's unfortunate and comment down below, where do you guys think this man is? Is he in Puerto Rico living it up? Is he in Cuba? Is he in rehab? Is he gambling the rest of the money he has away? I do not know. Comment down below what you guys think, but thank you guys so much for watching. We will be back to the regular weekly videos next week, and if you guys want to buy real shoes that'll actually ship to you within three business days, check out ImmaculateDelaware.com. Sorry, I had to plug that. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next week.